Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. Today, we are going to be looking at a romance and deceit movie. If you've not subscribed, please subscribe to help the channel out. In the first scene, we see three women. Cynthia, Angela, and Halima. Cynthia and Angela are both working class women living in the same apartment, while Halima also squats with them. In this scene, we Cynthia complaining about her mother's incessant pestering of her to get married, and how it is making her sick. The girls tells her that what her mother has said isn't far from the truth, and that she is too busy with her work. This only makes Cynthia angry, then she berates Halima for dating an invisible man which they all have never seen. Halima tells her that she isn't dating an invisible man, and that they will see him when the time is right. The next day, we see Cynthia in a restaurant making a phone call to a client. After the call, she tries to leave, but is stopped by a man in the restaurant. His name is William. William compliments her looks, while also introducing himself to her. She tells him her name, and also tells him that she's a tech consultant. Cynthia claims to be in a rush, so William asks for her contact, which she reluctantly gives to him. Being overly excited, Cynthia gets home and tells the girls about her encounter with Williams. Seeing how excited she is over a man she just met, Angela tells Cynthia that Williams only asked for her number, and it just might not result in something serious. Cynthia shoves Angela off by telling her Williams is the ideal man for her, and with the way he spoke to her, she is sure they'll eventually tie the knot. While heading off for work the next day, Cynthia receives a call from Williams. He asks her out for lunch, but she says she'll be having a meeting with a client, then they both agree to meet up for dinner. Meanwhile, we also see Halima with a man that seems to be in his 60s. His name is Kanu, and he is a politician. Halima tells him that she is tired of their sexual relationship, and that she is tired of getting endless marriage promises from him which he never fulfills. Kanu begs Halima and tells her that marrying a girl of her age will only ruin his reputation. Halima says she is tired of living in the same house with Cynthia, and that he should marry her or find her an apartment of her choice. Kanu says he'll think about it, so Halima gives him a one-month optimum and walks out on him. Later in the day, we see Cynthia and William on their dinner date. Cynthia asks William what he does for a living, to which he replies that he is a businessman. She asks him what kind of business he does, then he claims that he is into real estate and sales of automobiles. William tells Cynthia that he is an already established man, and what he needs is a woman who he can make his wife. Cynthia also says she is an established woman, and that she is searching for a man to start a family with. They both make a toast to their similarities, then we see montage clips showing the two having a romantic relationship. One day, while they are both talking in William's house, Cynthia asks him about his family. William says that he has no family, and that he lost his entire family in a fire incident, to which Cynthia sympathizes with him and apologizes for bringing up their memories. After a few weeks, we see it's Cynthia's 30th birthday, so her friends organizes an in-house party for her. While they are setting up, William comes into the house and introduces himself to them. Cynthia also comes out, so Williams gives her his gift. While she is appreciating him for his gift, Williams kneels down and proposes marriage to her. The girls interrupts Williams, then they advise that it's still too early in the relationship for them to be talking about marriage. Cynthia shoves them off, then accepts Williams' proposal. After a few days, we see the couple in Williams' house. Williams proposes a secret wedding, to which Cynthia disagrees. She says she has always dreamt of a big wedding, and that having a secret wedding will not be a good thing. Williams insists that he wants them to have a secret wedding, so Cynthia asks for his reasons. Williams brings up the issue of him having a nightmare. In the dream, he was killed by the one of the guests in the ceremony, and so having a secret wedding is the best thing to do. Cynthia finally sees reasons with him, then she reluctantly agrees to have a secret wedding. Thereafter, Cynthia comes back to her apartment and without informing the girl she moves her belongings into William's apartment. The next day, we see the pair in a court having a secret wedding. After the wedding, the couple have a photo shoot, so Cynthia posts the pictures on her Instagram handle, to which the girls see and all surprised at her actions. One day, while the couple are having a nice time, Cynthia's phone rings, so William shuts it off. Cynthia gets angry at him for turning off her phone, but this only results in a fight between the both of them. While Cynthia is heading out to work the next morning, Williams asks her to prepare him breakfast, but she says that would only make her late for her meeting. Williams gets angry with her, then he begins to portray his true colors. He forcefully sits her down and tells her that she has to quit her job. When she resists, he hits her and tells her to prepare him breakfast, then he walks away. While the couple are at home one day, a woman shows up at their house, claiming to be William's sister. 
Williams drags her out and asks her why she would visit him without an invite, but she tells him that she is his sister and she can visit him anytime. Williams tells her that there is a lot at stake now, and that she should never show up at his house without him calling. When he gets inside, Cynthia asks Williams why he lied to her about his family, but he only replies by saying he owes her no explanation. Meanwhile, back in Cynthia's old apartment, we see Angela showing Halima a picture of Cynthia and her husband on her Instagram profile. She comments on how happy the couple is, but Halima calls it all a fuss, and that there is nothing to envy about their union. Angela berates Halima for making such a comment, but she plays defensive by saying she should have been married now, if not for her man who is delaying their marriage. Angela tells Halima that a man like Kanu cannot marry someone as young as she is, but Halima tells her that she already has a plan to make Kanu marry her. When Angela asks Halima what her plan is, she walks inside the house, and then we see her in Kanu's apartment with her belongings. When Kanu asks her what she is doing with her bag in his house, she tells him that she has come to stay for good. Kanu tries to protest, but he could only sit and watch as his bodyguard takes Halima's bag into his room. Thereafter, we see Cynthia sitting on a chair while busy with stuffs on her PC. William walks in and tells her that they should head to the bank to open a joint account. She asks him why they need to open a joint account, but she tells him she'll have to transfer all the money in her possession into it. Cynthia tries to protest, but he screams at her, so she agrees in order to avoid being beaten up. After returning from the bank, Williams comes to the room and tries to access Cynthia's phone. When he sees that the phone is locked, he asks her why she has a lock on her phone, to which she says she has the right to do so, because it's her property. He tells her to get rid of the lock, and then she does so to avoid problems. He also hands her a dress he bought and tells her to put it on, and that they are going out. Cynthia says she doesn't want to go out, but Williams tells her that it wasn't a suggestion, and that she should do as he says. Meanwhile, back in Kanu's residence, we see him asking Halima what she wants from him. She tells him that she wants a great share in his assets, and that he doesn't have a child that would inherit his wealth. Kanu calls her a gold digger and that he would never succumb to such kind of persuasion. He also reminds her that he has a daughter, and that she would one day return back to him. She then asks for 50 million as a reward for the time she has wasted with him, but Kanu insists that he owes her nothing, and that she will not get a penny from him. Thereafter, we see Williams and Cynthia having dinner at a restaurant, then William spots an old business partner. His name is Johnson. On seeing Johnson, Williams hurriedly takes his wife away from the restaurant, forgetting her phone on the table. When the couple gets home, Cynthia tells Williams to explain to her why he left the restaurant in a hurry, and who Johnson is to him. Williams gets angry at her, then he tries to strangle her, telling her never to challenge his authority. He receives a call from her phone, so he asks her where her phone is, but she says she forgot it while they were leaving the restaurant. When Williams picks the call up, we see it's Johnson on the other side of the phone. Through their conversation, we find out that they had a business deal, but Williams refused to meet up to his end of the deal. Johnson tells Williams that he will get his life ruined, but Williams replied by telling him that he will go down with him if he is eventually caught. Meanwhile, we see a woman in Kanu's residence. She tells him that she has seen Williams in town, but Kanu is in disbelief, but she reaffirms that she saw him at a restaurant with another woman. Later on, we see Kanu looking at a picture of Williams. He tells his bodyguard to do everything he can to catch up with Williams. While they are talking, Halima takes the picture and tells Kanu that she knows Williams, and she also knows where he leaves. He tells her to tell him Williams' address, but Halima asks for 50 million as a reward for telling on Williams. Kanu gets angry at her, then he tells her that his daughter's life is at stake. In a flashback, we see Kanu's daughter showing him Williams as the man she wants to get married to. Her name is Amira. Kanu seems unimpressed by his appearance, so he tells her that he'll never allow her marry someone like William. He scolds her for bringing Williams to his house, then finally sends Williams away from his house. After her father's constant refusal of her marriage to Williams, Amira flees the country with Williams, leaving a goodbye note for her father, much to his frustration. Meanwhile, Halima tells Angela about Williams, so she tries to message Cynthia to tell her about it. She sends her a text to meet up at a restaurant, but when she gets there, Johnson shows up. She tells him that she's waiting on someone and that he should go away, but Johnson calms her down, then he tells her he was with Cynthia's phone when she messaged. He tells her about William's escapades, and how he marries women for their money, only to kill them and take their money. He has married and killed two women, including Amira, so Cynthia happens to be his next victim. He tells her the life of her friend is in danger, and that she needs to give him William's address. The next day, Williams arrives home and sees a warning note on his door. He is frightened, 
so he tells his wife to prepare for them to leave the country. In the morning, Williams wakes up and searches for his phones in the house, but could not find it. They hear a knock on the door, so Cynthia goes to check on it, and then sees it's the police. He tells her not to open the door, but she shows him his phones, which has been in her possession all the while. It happens that Johnson managed to get in touch with Cynthia and explained everything to her. They all plan to scare him with the threat note, and also call the police on him. Williams is finally arrested by the police, so Cynthia is consoled by her friend. In the concluding scene, Johnson is also arrested by the police for being an accomplice to murder. It happens that he has been aware of Williams' crimes all the while, but has been collecting bribes for him to keep his mouth shut. Moral of the story, watch before you jump. If you enjoyed the story, please subscribe to help the channel out. Also check out our channel for more stories.